Hello everybody, welcome. I am working on a equity account. It's an illustration of a problem that we're going to be working with on page 43 in the textbook. This is looking at direct investment by owners in retained earnings in a company. So let's get started and let me show you how this works. Well first of all we're going to look at some stock and here is our basic guidelines. We have a company and let's call this company Nichols. We'll call it Nichols. Okay, so Nichols Inc. We'll call it Nichols Inc. Uh, started with a sale of 20,000 shares of a company. So this is kind of a startup. It's 20,000 shares of a company, and there are a handful of owners with this company. Now, what they did was when they started this company, they created something called the par value. Now, a par value is an arbitrary number that somebody assigns. It could be 1, it could be 2, it could be 10, it could be 15, whatever the owners at the time feel would be a good number to start with. So this company started with a $2 par value. It's really not based on anything, it's just a number. So you got to keep that in mind is that par value this is an arbitrarily arbitrary and meaningless number. Uh, but so they started this way. So here's where we started. We had 20,000 shares of a company that they took out. They so when they registered the company as a as an inc, as an incorporated company, they said we're going to have 20,000 shares. Then they said each share is going to be worth two dollars. Fine. And what they're going to do is that they are going to have a share value. The share value itself is eight dollars. So that means that the current market value, current market value of the shares are eight dollars. So if you were to do a quick multiplication, what you would look at and you would say, all right, this this company has eight dollars and there's twenty thousand shares. Well the company is gonna be worth hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That's what it's worth. Okay. Because what I did was I took the eight times 20,000. Now if you're on Shark Tank, this is what they do and help determine the value on, on companies. So here's what we know. So we know that we have 20,000 shares of a company. It's listed at $2 par value on the face of the share of the stock. And we know that the share value in the market is $8 because the company is worth about $160,000. And that could be based on a number of things, but it's, a, it's worth $160,000. So the company earns seventy thousand dollars this year so it earns seventy thousand dollars in profit at the end of this year 2013 we're just ending 2013 so this past year it came out with seventy thousand dollars in profit All right then the owners wanted to take out fifteen thousand dollars in dividends so they want to take home fifteen thousand dollars well in our calculations, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take, since they're taking part of the profit, they're paying themselves, we're going to take $15,000 out of the $70,000. And what this will leave us with is $55,000. Now, in accounting, when we keep money, it's called retained earnings. So when we keep our money, it's called retained earnings. So let me just go back over this. Nichols Inc. started as a company this past year. In this last year, they issued 20,000 shares to the company. And on the face of the shares, it's a $2 face value. It absolutely means nothing. It's just something, a number they had to put on. Every company has to put a number on its shares. Well, the current market value of the company is $160,000 or $8 a share. So what they did was they figured out this is how much the company is worth. It's worth 160,000 and we have 20,000 shares. So it's 100 so each one is worth $8. Okay. So then the company right here went out and earned 70 grand this past year. That was their profit, their net profit. Well, the owners decided they wanted to take some money, so they said, well, we want $15,000 in what we call dividends, which is just kind of a payout to the shareholders. So they got to take that money from somewhere, so that money comes off a of profit. So you have $70,000 in profit, you minus 55. Well, then the end is they get $55,000 to go to the next year as operating expenses. That's what they're using this $55,000 for, is to move it ahead. And by doing so, they call this retained earnings. 
Well, the question then looks at, and I'm just going to put this over here, says, all right, we need to develop what we call equity accounts. So we're going to start this way, is we are going to, and there's going to be four lines. The first one is going to be common stock, common stock. The next one is going to be something called paid in excess. Then the next one's going to be retained earnings. And then we're going to have total equity. Well, we're going to have to figure out what each one of these are. So now we have common stock. Well, we have we know we have 20,000 shares and it has a par value of $2. So 20,000 shares is equal to this, which would be equal to $40,000. There's a very simple calculation. If you remember, we go back to this $2,000 at $2 par value. Well, okay. So then we have this paid in excess right here. Well, the paid in excess is the difference between the retain between the $160,000 it's worth in the common stock share. So we know that the stock right here is at par, and we know that it has an $8 value. So we minus the two dollars and it's equal to six. So it has an excess of value of six dollars per share. This is the excess of value in, uh, in paper. So now this would be hundred twenty thousand dollars. So if you had add these two up, it would be hundred sixty thousand. Like we went back here, it'd be hundred sixty thousand dollars worth of stock. Okay. So then the retained earnings is exactly what we did. We took seventy thousand minus 15 is equal to 55,000. Okay, So I draw a line here because I want to add these up. So the total equity, if I was to add these three things up, would be, if I do this quickly, $215,000 in total equity. That would be the total equity for a company. Now if you want to see this illustrated, this is on page 43 in the textbook. Thank you.